Hello. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day to you all. My beautiful people, I miss you all. How are you all doing? Happy hump day. 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 Yesterday we, we weren't on, right? Oh, now did, did you do a live video yesterday? Oh. Today we're making some kakro and aboboy. Kakro is plantain fritters and aboboy is black eyed pea bean stew. So we're gonna make it some kakro. Let's get into it. I don't see anybody yet, but I'm gonna patiently wait for my beautiful kings and queens to join and then we can get started. Nadine, what are you doing? Oh, I'm watching myself. Oh. Are you for real? Are you for real? For real, real. Okay, well. I'm going to blend my seasoning. Hello, Jody Carter. Hello, Jody Carter. I'm going to make use this for our boboy, which is our bean sauce. Mm -hmm. That's not too, don't get too spicy. Hello, Brenda Foster Sutherland, Adeneyi Ali. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So we're going to blend our seasoning for the sauce, which is the apple boy or the bean sauce. Made this on live before. Made this on the live video before. some other seasoning like rosemary and some thyme that's thyme Maddie wants the bottom of the blender and that is rosemary the bean sauce Proud to this, I had my beans on fire cooking. This is black eye peas. And I'm cooking over here. And if I want to speed up the process, add a little bit of baking soda. Here. Oh, I, I can't get to it. You need to get it for me. So, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Here's our black eyed peas. That's what we're using for the sauce. Black eyed peas is full of protein. You want to eat some good protein? Hello, Tom Tom Page. Hello, everybody. We got to let that cook. Let me get me some baking soda. These people won't move, and I'm the one who is tired. I just got back from work, and I'm doing all the moving. Where's the baking soda? You can pause and get it. Top one. The yellow one. Okay. So if you want to speed up the process of cooking your beans. Add some of the baking soda to it. That will speed up the process. 
So we're going to add some of that. Not a lot, okay? By a teaspoon of baking soda. Don't add any salt. Oh, this will not cook if you add salt. So this is going to speed up the process of cooking your, your black eye peas. You learned something new today. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Eliza's Kitchen, where we cook and have fun. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know. Beautiful people. If this is your first time, you are welcome. We're gonna let this cook. We're gonna let this cook. Let the beans run its course while we prepare what we're gonna put in our sauce. If you just joined, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from. I don't know where you are, which part of the world you're in, but good afternoon. We're gonna blend this. We've got some habanero pepper, some onions, some ginger, some garlic. We're gonna add this small tomato in there as well. I'm gonna blend it. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Good evening, beautiful people. Welcome to Liza's Kitchen. This is gonna go off, so mute your button if it's gonna, you know, hurt your ears. tomatoes, some um, rosemary and thyme, and onion. Okay. Out, out, I'm sorry. <laughs> out where? I'm not sure what that means. Cut, I'm not sure. Nadine, what is that person typing? Tom Tom. Good afternoon, Miss Kim. Cross, read the comment. Hello, Anne McRae. Hello, Exodus Jackson. Hello, everybody. Just joining. Welcome to Eliza's Kitchen. We're getting our beans cooked and then we'll start the process. So we'll, we'll pour this in something and then we'll work on our plantain. Hmm? What does that mean? He's going, I guess. Oh, going out. Okay, Miss Kim said good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can we put on the sauce? That's our, our blender spices and seasoning. Now we're going to use for the sauce. Now, Krakow is plantain fritters. Krakow is plantain fritters. We're going to work on that in a minute. Ripe plantain fritters. You, you use the ripe ones, not the green ones. Everybody knows the ripe ones are sweeter. So your plantain got to be between yellow and black. The peel. And that's the right one you want to use for your cacao or your fritters. As for my sauce, hello. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you. I try, I try. I try to 
try to come on and give you all some good content daily. Now, how do you eat your black eyed peas? This is a Ghanaian recipe, okay? It's a Ghanaian recipe. How do you like your black eyed peas? I know people eat their black eyed peas differently over here. Now, this other. Oh, they do that thing. What? They put some add like turkey and different things to their black eyed peas and eat it that way. We eat it differently. We make a sauce out of it. Now we're gonna make our plantain fritters, which is the kakro. And that needs some. What you put in that is onions, ginger, some cloves, and what's it called? Seeds of selen. I don't have those. I don't have those seeds of selen. You need that as well to add to your kaku. And I'm going to add my, well, let me start with this and then I add the plantains because I don't want the plantains to mash up all the way. I want it to be a tad bit lumpy. Ogamen recipe, that's what you said. A Ghanaian recipe. Ghanaian. Where I'm from? I'm from Ghana. This is a Ghanaian recipe. Ghanaian. G-H-A-N-A. -A. It's the name of a country. We're going to blend this. Things and they're ripe and you don't know what to do with it don't throw them away use it for this recipe mm, it smells good already use it for this recipe so I peeled all my plantains here are the plantains they're ripe see how ripe they are they when they're ripe they get very sweet and we use it for this recipe so I'm gonna add it in here Add your plantain in here. Cut it smaller. You can even mash it if you don't have a blender. Hello, Miss Vivian. Good evening. <laughs> Add a, a pinch of cayenne in it. Pinch of cayenne. You cover it. Please. Hmm? And then you. I'm going to use my pulse. Because I, I don't want it to be mushy. My blender is super loud, forgive me. And I'm going to add some salt in there as well. I'm going to add some salt in this. You can taste it, okay? If you want to see if we have enough salt or enough seasoning, you can taste it. Let's add a little bit of salt. Plantains. Do you pulse them or do you eat them like that? I make this with it or I can make like a plantain cake as well. That's the plantains. We're going to add some flour. You can also add like roasted corn flour to this when you're making it. We have some other kind of roasted corn flour we call Tom Brown that has other things in it. If you add it, it's even better. 
but I don't have that so I'm just gonna add flour and as you can see this is not blended all the way it's got tiny lumps in it that's how I want it to be the tiny lumps let's see if our salt and everything is good you can taste it and see okay plantains are mm. needs a little bit of salt This doesn't, those are really tiny, so it's not coming out a lot. Like you think, you mix it up. My mom is, Nadia, are you reading this? Oh, no. Please I read it. it Hello, everybody. Good evening, beautiful kings and queens. How are you all doing? Thank you for joining the live video. See, it's a little lumpy. It's a little lumpy. I'm going to add some flour. Can somebody give me flour? Flour. The flour. Mmm, this is so good. You can even eat it by itself. You don't have to. Just give it to me. What flour is this? I don't know the answer. All purpose flour. That's what I need. I'm going to add a little bit of flour in here. Yes, there you go. Sprinkle it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can either add flour or you can add cornmeal. Like she said, flour or cornmeal. But the cornmeal has to be roasted corn. <laughs> That's what I've used before, roasted cornmeal. Yeah. So your corn, you dry out your corn till it's dry and you roast it. You roast the corn. Like you know how you make your popcorn and the kennels are, are sort of roasted in there? Mm -hmm. You grind it up into a powder and you add it to this and you make this recipe. Oh, nice. Yeah, Tom Brown, you know the Tom Brown flour? You can add it to this. Oh. So tasty. I think that's enough flour, and I think it needs a little bit of cayenne. It doesn't have to be super spicy, just, you know, just a hint of the spiciness. Mmm. Stir it until it's all well combined. Mmm, no! Now we're getting on to something. Now it tastes like what I know. Oh, it's perfect. It's going to be a perfect balance between sweetness, savoriness, and spiciness. So sweet and spicy, almost like you're having a sweet and spicy chicken, you know? Yeah, it's a perfect combination yeah. of both. Well, how many cups is this? For a quarter cup, maybe we can do a little bit more. Of the flour a little bit more of this flour will not hurt about a half cup we are going to fry this i'm waiting on my fresh oil we'll fry this for this i think i've made it once on the live video have i does anybody remember on a weekend? Hello, Miss Vivian. Good evening. How are you, Queen? I miss you all. Now, let me take some of these jewelry off because it's in the way. Oops. Oh, good afternoon, Miss Cheryl Jones. Hello, Mommy Jane. Oh, sorry. Sorry to hear that. I hope all goes well with that. I can definitely understand your stress. 
But please take it easy. Don't let it get the best of you. Well, you can send me a DM. to wash this and dance this. We're about to make a apple boy or beans tea. The answer, love your outfit. Oh, thank you. Why is this Hello, family. No closer. My cabinet ain't closer, guys. Miss Angela said, hey, sweetheart. Hello, darling. There we go. Now we're going to dice these for the sauce. Who? We set that aside and we're working on our sauce. Things we want to put in our sauce or add to our sauce. We have some diced tomatoes here, but I also have some fresh one here I want to dice and add as well for the bean sauce or the apple boy. Apple boy. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm real gone. Apple boy. Who said that? Oh, okay. We haven't seen you on here in a while, Mami Dean. How are you doing? Where does she sound familiar? She's in Ghana. Yeah, you know who she is. You just don't remember. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe when she used to join you in school. I don't. But she's Ghanaian. Just dice your tomatoes. Your tomatoes and watch your finger. Don't dice that too. Now we're gonna have a problem and a serious problem for that matter. Okay, that is done. If you are just joining, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're joining from. Hello, hello, hello. Mommy, I've been in school. Oh, okay. All right, Queen. Hello, Miss Rondia. Good evening, everybody. So here is our plantain fritters or our cacro that we mixed. We're waiting. We're going to step by step, one thing after the other. I'm going to be using some pink salmon for my bean sauce. I'm going to be using some pink salmon. going to be delicious. Now this recipe can also be vegan. If you're making it vegan, don't add any any um, any salmon to it. Just make it the way it is. Without the salmon. And it's still delicious. Oh, Ghana food, I love it. Okay, Mami Jane, you are Ghanaian, so of course of course you will love your country food. And I pour, drain the water away. I mean, drain off the water, pour it in a bowl and try to pick out the skin of the salmon. Get rid of the water. Open up the salmon, pick up the skin the best that I can. You can't do it all, you can't get it all off. And you can get the most part of. And get rid of some of the bones. This is gonna go in our sauce. This is gonna be pretty much crushed in, in our sauce, but you'll find a few in there. I 
can hear my beans. Okay, so now that we've gotten rid of all the skin, pretty much I'm using two kinds of this. find the salmon all through the food, all through the sauce. Good evening. Who said that? Good evening, Judy. How are you, Queen? Get rid of the water. Check on these beans. Our beans is almost done. Mmm, our black eyed fish is almost done. Mm. Like I said, that baking soda will do the job. Good evening, Miss Tanya. Hello, Miss Debbie. That's the other pink salmon. Get it. Take the skin off. And get rid of the bones in the inside. This is the salmon, the pink salmon. So that aside, this food is very nutritious, especially for kids, growing kids, or somebody who wants to eat a lot of protein. This is a good recipe for you. Trying to build some muscles. No, there's no rice with this, Nadi. The, the kakura is good. No, I'll be good. Kakura is good enough. Now, I also want to soak my salted cod fish. You need some kind of umami flavor in this sauce, okay? So, our salted cod fish will give us that umami flavor. And I wash my salt off. Look. Look at me. I want all the salt off the cod fish. Then I'm doing the sauce. Today we've traveled all the way to Ghana, West Africa, representing my country. Okay. And I soak it in a little bit of water to get rid of some of the salt. I don't want all that salt in my sauce. Now let's check on our beans and we'll get started in just a minute. Wash my hand with some soup. That salt fish is pretty strong sometimes. We'll get into it in just a minute. The kakro goes with bean stew in Ghana. That's right, queen. That's what I'm making. Bean stew, sweetie. This is the beans. Here's the beans. Here is the beans. Now, if you did not add the baking soda, we'll still be cooking it. But you see, it's almost done. See how soft it's become? already just because i added the baking soda and i didn't add no salt do not add salt if you want your bean to cook quickly don't add any what salt i think i said it on the other live the other day 
where we made the um, chickpeas. Same thing. I'm gonna add some salt now. This is when you add the salt. Now that it's soft, you can add your salt. Mmm. My country, they can have this just like that with some fried onions and palm oil. And, and sprinkle it with some yuca powder or something we call gari and fry plantains. And you eat it just like this. Mmm. Now, now you can add the salt and now you can allow the salt to go into the beans. But proud to that, do not add the salt. Or you, your beans will not cook. You'll be at it for a long time. Mm-hmm. And you ain't gonna see no progress because you didn't listen. Just like I did when I was younger. When my mom told me. So I'm gonna let this cook for another five minutes so the salt, you know, can penetrate through these beans. And then I'll pour this and we'll start our bean sauce. It's gonna be bomb, I'm telling you. It is gonna be the bomb. Dot com. And while that will, while we start making the bean sauce, we're gonna work on our cacro, which is our plantain fritters on the other side. Okay, we're gonna do the two things at once. Multitasking. At this point. If you want to see how we made the fritters, you have to go back and watch the replay. Now, this beans, I'm going to just pour it. I don't want to overcook my beans. Because when you overcook it too, then it gets so mushy in the sauce. So this is good enough. Let me get my... I always forget to wear my mittens. use this I think can you take the spoon out of the bowl I'll pour my hold the bowl pour the beans out now I'm gonna wash this pan flip you all up so you can see me and what I'm doing I'm gonna wash this pan it's hot but this is what I want to use for my sauce Rinse off the pan. And we're going back. Right back. Ta da! Here's the beans. I poured it in a bowl. We're going to start the process. Now for this sauce, we're gonna use something called palm oil. If you don't know what it is, it comes from the palm tree. But I'm using the cholesterol free kind because palm oil tends to have a high, you have a lot of cholesterol in it. So I use the cholesterol free kind. See it says cholesterol free. That's the kind I'm using for this sauce. So we're gonna get the pot heated up, then we add our palm oil. That's the same kind I use for my okra sauce and my spinach and a gushi, if you've seen me make it. I use the same type of oil. Get heated, hurry up and get heated. <laughs> good evening, everybody. Good evening, Gina, Cut White. Good evening, Club. Cleo Messi, good evening, Antonio Games, good evening, Chan Maki, good evening, Murders Winston, Mami Jane, good evening, Ellen Reed, good evening, Nadia Bullock, good evening, Adene, good evening, Karen Hollis, good evening, Nadira Ramwood, good evening, 
Mommy, no salted fish in outside country. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so, but I, there, there's some, believe it or not. I just, sometimes it gets a little too salty. I bought this one. It's cod fish. This is salted cod fish. And it gets the job done. It tastes just like Kobe. I would say a fancier Kobe because, you know, cod fish is fancy. So, a fancier kind of salted fish. But we use the salted tilapia in Ghana, which we call Kobe. K-O-B-I. Kobe. Salted fish. Not Kobe, okay? Kobe. Two different things. Kobe is somebody's name. Kobe is the name of the salted um, tilapia. You can find it in the African market. Or I guess Amazon sells it. I'm not sure. Give me Lindsay Carwhite. You're welcome, Kenneth Wood. Moiti, you're welcome. Welcome, all of you beautiful people. Don't forget to S H A R E this live because what? Sharing is what? Caring. We're going to add our palm oil, a generous amount for this recipe. Who is that laughing? Is that Nadine laughing? No, no one's laughing. Oh, she just dumped the phone and left. Wow. Until the food is ready. Then you all will see them here. Just, just keep an eye. you see them come when the food is ready. That's my children for you. Hmm, what's that smell? Hmm, that smells so good. Mommy, is it done? Do your kids do that too? Do your kids do that? Now you want your palm oil to really get heated before you add anything else. What does palm oil taste like? Palm oil tastes like... It tastes like seasoned oil. Oil that has been seasoned. But I don't even know how to describe it. You have to taste it. It's one of these things you have to taste it to know it. I can't really give a description of it. Adele, what does palm oil taste like? Let's it let's see. It tastes like oily. It tastes good. <laughs> she said it tastes like oil. It tastes good. <laughs> it tastes good when you're making African recipes and you use it. It's got its own unique flavor. Good evening, Miss Caleta. I hope that answers your question. It's one of these things you have to actually taste it to experience the whole thing. I mean, to know exactly what it tasted. I, I don't know how to describe it. But it tastes like oil that has been seasoned. That's getting heated. You want to hear that sizzling sound when you add anything to that palm oil. You want it to really get heated. It has to be heated. Then I'm getting my pan to fry my fritters in or my cargo in. Because we'll be making that in just a minute too. Nadine, where are you? Come on. I need your help in finding something in the dishwasher. What did I just do? Now that your palm oil, let's see, it's heated. Let's see if we add some. Yeah, that's where you want it to be. Mommy, please answer me. That's, oh, Jane, I don't like to talk about people, please. I don't want it. I'd rather you don't talk about people on my life, okay? 
Okay, Jen, don't talk about anybody here, please. Don't. I'm going to act like I didn't see your, your comments. Because I don't like talking about people. Where did you get your wood, salt, and pepper? Mm. Oh, this is on my Amazon storefront. This, it's on my Amazon storefront. So we just added our um, salted cod fish. This is going to add a lot of flavor to your sauce. That's what's going to give it that umami flavor. The salted cod fish will give your sauce that umami flavor. That's okay, mommy. Now you know. I'd rather you don't. Okay, sweetheart. Don't talk about her or anybody. Let it fry in that oil. Let it fry in that oil. Now, the salted codfish smells better than Kobe, by the way. Doesn't smell as bad as Kobe. Kobe can be very strong, which is salted tilapia. It can be very strong at times, but the codfish does not have that kind of smell. And your palm oil is getting reheated again with that in it. You want it to get reheated again. The next thing that I'm going to add to this is uh, are the onions, the sliced onions. Sliced onions. Add your sliced onions. Mmm. Right now, the aroma over here is, is on another level. Another level already. Mm -hmm. My goodness me. My neighbors are going to say, what's going on? What's she making? What's that? Something and she knows where it is, please. So I can stop frying the fritters. That way, this can get out the same time, and you all can eat dinner. Let your onion get translucent. I don't know if you can see through with the palm oil when it's translucent, but you can tell. Let it get translucent. I see that good. I bet that smell good. Oh my God, it smells so good right now. Good evening, Miss um, Margo Williams. Mmm, -hmm. smells so good. That with the palm oil. Mmm, another level. Hey, Jalen. Yes, please come. I need a small skillet. To fry the cockroach. And why are you running away? Come and stand with me. I've been seeing you all day. You didn't miss me. Not this. Not that. I can't fry it. You need a flat pan. You know the red flat pan? That's perfect for it. I missed you. I missed you. I miss your naughty self. Did you? Yeah. Welcome, Tam Tamiba and Sumami. Welcome, Madeline Cancel. Nadine doesn't believe I missed her today. 
I miss you all the time when I'm at work. Did I not call you from work? Yeah, you did. Okay, so. I miss your naughty self. Even though you, if I'm home to you, worry me to no end. And then we're going to add a little bit of tomato paste. Okay, a little bit of tomato paste in our sauce. Our onions are translucent now. Add a little bit of tomato paste to your sauce. I hope you all are enjoying this. Hello, Liza's Kitchen. Hello, Miss Monica. Lord of mercy. Miss Monica, tomorrow I'll ship your pack, your, your trivia gift. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I, I have not done as I promised. I saw it. I'm going to ship it tomorrow. I promise you. I'm, sh I'm shipping out orders tomorrow. I have some orders, orders to ship out, and I'll just do a... A post office run tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow, Miss Miss Monica. Forgive me, okay? I hope I'm forgiven. <laughs> now you all remember our seasoning that we blended? We blended some seasoning earlier. We did blend some seasoning. That's gonna go in as well. It's got onions, ginger, garlic, peppers. You want to put add that to your your oil or your sauce, and allow it to cook so that all that. Oh, what are you doing? I've seen you. You have been arrested. I'm not doing. Anything. Don't do it. Why don't you get something and pour put all the tomatoes in once we get our beans in here we'll start making our kakro okay so stay tuned we're doing two recipes in one as usual at eliza's kitchen you could get two three recipes all in one you will learn three things in one Enjoy the moment. Oh. <laughs> oh something that you like. Oh. Should we buy super malt for you? <laughs> or calipo? Which one do you want? I'm adding some bullion in here. Ah, no. One calipo. Bullion. Calipona. Oh, bouillon. Calipona. Okay, sing now. What is <laughs> You need a phone to sing. Yeah. Okay. This got to cook. Now, all that seasoning in here, we're building the flavors. We are building the flavors. Like I said, if you're a vegan, this is also a vegan meal. Just don't add the salted um cod fish oh don't use my phone for that just look look at this funny meme i don't know what you call that sweetie but it ain't good yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna add our tomatoes our diced tomatoes getting out of hand. Now allow this to cook. It's a step-by-step -step process. However, oh, Miss Monica, say hi, Nadine. Hello. Trust the process. Mm. You always got to, baby. Got to trust the process. Because in the end, it always ends up you're going to be sore. 
This girl is playing games with me. I know what to do. <coughs> I just have to talk to me and see them. You didn't pour these things away, Mandy. I told you put it away. I have a little bit of diced, canned diced tomatoes. Let me add some to, to the mix. Put these things away. Now I'm just going to allow it to cook. And all of this will... I'm also going to add quinolizer salt pepper seasoning. You know we can do this without that. That's what's going to take your sauce to the next level. Head to lizaskitchen.com and go grab yours. If you don't have any in your kitchen, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm going to also add some crawfish in here. Dried crawfish. Add to the umami flavor. Mmm. Look at this sauce. You can eat this sauce. You can have this sauce with even something. Rice, whatever. By itself. By itself, it's going to be tasty, too. Use the same sauce. Add your spinach to it. Use the same sauce. Add your um, egushi to it. Use the same sauce as a base. Add your beans to it. You can use the same base or the same sauce for numerous recipes. I said so. Now I'm going to start frying my kakro. Since this girl is not being forthcoming. Nadine, come and put the tomatoes away. I talk to you nicely. Come on. And then you, you get upset because I... I said something, but you're not listening when I'm nice. You like me to be rough. Yes, that's what I prefer. Oh, okay. I'll give it to you that way. Rough and raw and uncut. Ew. Welcome. Ew. La hey, Nadine, read this. Welcome. <laughs> Please read this name. It looks delicious. Mm -mm, read the name. Thank you, Miss Vivian. Lede, Laude. Welcome, Lao Day. Welcome, Bridget's Baker. Welcome, Elok Dob Double. Welcome, Banja Hussein. Welcome, all of you beautiful people from all over the world watching. Thank you for joining. It's Eliza's Kitchen, where we cook and do what? Have fun. If this is your first time joining, we are happy to have you. Don't let us be your last. We poured some vegetable oil in here to fry our kakro. Kakro. Oh, this is what you do. Why don't you separate it, sweetheart? Eh? Why do you keep getting in trouble? Move. This daughter of mine. I wish to see her house one day. What will happen in there? It's called a blue jack kitchen. To two I also make my children. I have to just go I, for my. I just need to me. take my grandchildren and take care of them because mm -mm, I don't know what they be eating. Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, I had an important call. Oh, Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie, oh, don't worry, Miss Debbie. You got to do what you got to do. And it's all right. This is while this is getting heated. I want you to have a sneak peek of our me. sauce. Me. Me. Excuse you. Me. This is the sauce, looking really good right now. But it's not it's done. Good. You want to really but fry the tomatoes in there. It looks good, but you. Look, it has to cook. You look better. Very well. You look better. Before you add anything. You Thank you, sweetie. So do you. Mm. 
Because our boy is going to be a boy. Boy, Go ask my sisters, what I've does never this mean to you? Why are you eating cheese? <laughs> oh, this girl. <laughs> we are waiting for your song, sweetie. I've never eaten that type of food before. Mom. You're auditioning for the voice, right? Oh, baby. Well, anyway. Okay, now I could. I'll go ahead and add my canned what? salmon. What fish is that? Salmon. Canned salmon. Oh. We I've took the skin and bones like of Nadine, stop it. Yes, you have. <laughs> Please stop. You know you have. We took out the bones and the and the skin. Oh, that one had bones in it. Let me take it out. I didn't realize oh, that so still had Ghanaian bones. people eat this kind of food? We will use smoked salmon for this. So Ghanaian this people sauce. enjoy this kind of food? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good to know. So do you. It's one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm done talk, saying anything to you. Do what yeah, you that's want. Right. I'm not going to mind you. What did you say? I don't know. Please, what do you need me for, my love? Welcome, Sandy Brown. Welcome, Patricia Nelly. Solange Dusat. Looking delicious. Miss Sheila Ferguson said, must try. Yes, ma'am. You have to follow the recipe and try it. You will love it. Now, we're going to fry our fritters or our boboy. This is what we call cacro. This is what we call cacro, okay? We are about to start the process of frying the kakro. Kakro, don't, 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 don't judge my pan. Don't, don't judge it. You know you have this one thing that you love that you can't give up. Is this pan? It gets the job done. So please, don't, don't, don't try. Don't you try? And this is our plantains that we worked on. About to add it in here. Let's see if our oil is heated first. I always test my oil with some onion. But I'm not sure. When I add the onion and I hear that sizzling sound, I know it's ready. So it's ready. It is ready. It is ready. We're going to turn this down some because we don't want our kakro to burn. Now, do you know what I'm looking for? Oh, yeah. That thing that I fry with. The, I haven't seen it too, the um, metal thing. Yeah, it should be in here. It should be in there. In the where? So this is our kakro. We are going to add this to the oil. Greetings, Virtuous Hope. It's a lot too. Wonder if I can finish frying it today. Whatever I can't continue later. Scoop it. That will ensure that you have the perfect measurement. And you let it fry. Let it fry. I'm going to look for my seasoned plantain. The best. Yes, ma'am. It's seasoned. Now here's our bean sauce that has been cooking. It's looking really good. You don't want to stir too much because this, this fish is already broken. So you stir it with caution like that. You don't want to lose all that salmon in there. Even though you're going to bite into it, every bite of that sauce will have that salmon. Okay, what I do is I take some out, like the whole ones that I can. I take it out, and when the sauce is about to be done, I add it. Because see that and that is just going to crush. 
Let's go back to the cat crew. Nadine, I'm, I need some help with this thing. Please get up and get it. Oh. It's not done yet. Uh -oh. You say you need garlic. No. The thing that I used to fry. Oops. It's tearing apart. Means you gotta give it some time. Give it some more time the heat down and let it keep doing what it's doing yeah oh you are salivating that's your soul i'm Ghanaian, okay i'm salivating i don't know what that means guys i say salivating whatever you have an accent too i don't have an accent yes you do i have an american accent do y'all think nadine has an accent I was, Let us know. I was born in the USA, okay? No, you I don't have an accent, guys. I'm taking some of the salmon out. The food looks delicious, Mom. Because I don't want it all to get crushed. So I'm taking some out. And I'll add them at the end. That's how I make my bean sauce. Because you don't want... Mom, it's right here, guys. Well, I don't have my glasses oh. on. Uh, uh, take, take some of the whole salmon African out. African parents be like, Shh, that's just your choice. You can take some out. Okay, cool. Or you can leave it so everything will be crushed. But I don't. African parents be like, come get me the remote. The remote is right next. Then we're gonna to add our beans. Oh gosh, that was. But funny. part of my beans is whole. Hilarious. And I'm gonna crush part of the beans. We'll go to the kakro in a minute. Should I have I not forgotten. I'm gonna add part of the beans whole, crush part of the beans. You can't. The way is acting up. I think you're gonna have it. Try. You can try flipping it. So those that's the beans. Crush part of the beans. Yes, ma'am. We use a bag of black eyed peas. Okay, just to show you the quantity. It's a whole bag of black eyed peas, and this is how I crush it with, with a potato masher. You see? Be careful. Okay, I would like to do it. And then use the pour the rest in here. I don't know why. That's crushed. This is super nutritious, I'm telling you. Super, super. And it's tasty too. It is. And let this cook. Let this deliciousness cook. Now, you've lost pretty much all your fish in there. And this is why I take out some of my whole fish, salmon, and put it aside. This is going to cook some more. It's not ready yet. Let's come to our kakro. That's the bean sauce. It's got to cook. Put it on low and allow it to simmer so it's gonna get thicker it's gonna get thicker and it's gonna get you know less there's gonna be less water in there some of the water is gonna evaporate so here's the kakro or the plantain fritters i had to turn this off because i was attending to something else This is going to be fine. Just slowly turn it. If you have a non stick pan, just got to cook some more. Just got to cook some more. Those are the fritters. When you eat this with your bean sauce, ay, ay, ay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. You'll be 
singing praise and worship. Mmm. Bean sauce is tasting really good, guys. Mmm. -hmm. Goodness me. It's good. What are you all having for dinner tonight, beautiful people? This is I don't know. Something about when you're frying. The first one is always the hardest. Mm. I think the oil got cold on this too. But we're gonna let it cook. Continue cooking. I'm not sure yet. Okay, Miss Tanya. What's everybody having for dinner today? What's on the menu? You know what we are having. What are you having? Whoever is doing, mm -hmm. please stop. Please stop it. Please stop it. That's what gave us issues the last time. You're still doing it. If you want to do it, go to your room or something. You can do it there. How are we going? I don't want to do this. In the light. It's not a non copyright background music. Get your strainer ready so you can put your fritters in there so that some of that oil can strain. This is our bean sauce. It's looking really good. Look at that. Pot chops in the air fryer. There you go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Like I said, if you have plantains that are ripe and you don't know what to do with them, this is a perfect recipe for it. Don't toss them. Use them. One day I'm going to make the plantain cake too. Ooh, that's gonna be good. It is good. You can use the same mixture, but there's a couple of things that you need to add to it to get to the cake. We're gonna make plantain cake on the live. We call it a farm. Mmm, it's so good. You eat one, you keep eating it. There's palm oil in it and everything. I'll be making that one of these days. Good evening, Miss Lane. Happy ham day. Mmm. Miss, Miss Monica, that sounds good. I've never made pork chops in the air fryer. I don't, the only meat I've made in the air fryer is, um, is chicken. I've never made steak in the air fryer. I've never made, well, I've made fish in the air fryer, but not. Mm -hmm. This got to get hot. Cabbage, cornbread, chicken in the air fryer. Wow, well, everybody's using the air fryer today. It's a healthier option. I'm not going to lie to you. But I can make my fritters in the air fryer. I wish I could. I don't know how that's going to turn out. But air fryers are definitely good and healthier options. So go for it, queens. 
If I discover how I can do this in the air fryer, it would have been awesome. Because you see how sticky it gets. And the plantain is mashed up, so. I don't know. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like, but my heat's got low. So I had to tend to the beans. You can have this bean sauce with rice too. Or just plain fried plantains. All with the yucca powder. Gary. Too. You're just like Jalen at this point. Oh, sorry. I'm hearing your everything here. And you didn't do what I told you to do. So when I'm done cooking, don't come here and tell me some stories. So only two people are making dinner tonight? Wow. That's interesting. Everybody else didn't say anything. I know you all are eating something tonight. Come on, guys. Come on, my kings and queens. Don't lie. <laughs> don't act like you're not eating anything. Even if you are not cooking it. I don't mind. I'd just like to know what you're having. Share with me. See, this is almost done. Flip it around. It's supposed to look this dark. If you can Google it, the name I have on my thing, you will see it. This is how it's supposed to look. Okay, so it's not burnt. This is what it looks like when you buy it by the roadside. Or you go to a restaurant and order it. It's going to come out looking just like this. That's the kaku. I have turkey burgers in the oven, a side of spinach and rice. There you go. That sounds good, Miss Lane. Been whipping up some good food in your house too, Miss Lane. All those amazing photos you share with us in our group. If you are not in the Cooking with Eliza group, make sure you join. So these are the fritters that is done. It's cooked all the way inside, okay? And that's why you don't want your heat to be too... I mean, it has to be hot, but not super hot. To where it can allow the thing to cook. Now, now we're talking. Look at that. Those are the fritters. Those are the fritters. Jalen, is my phone over there? And you're still not listening to me, son. What am I going to do with you? I'm not listening. Get me my phone. Mmm, this smells so good too. It smells super good. That is still getting done. This is okay. Drain some, drain some of the oil and place it in here. See? This thing could open up. Make it smaller. Here they are. That's the kaku or plantain fritters. We're going to add some more in here.
you continue cooking it till till it's ready. Why is this one not cooperating? But I want to open one and show you all. Okay. See? That's what it looks like on the inside. So good. Mmm. Oh, and mm. delicious. Mm. This is this is one that is just not letting go. We'll let it do this thing. Pair it with that bean sauce. Mm. We'll be on cloud nine. And also spare your sauce occasionally because you don't want it to get burnt. What I hate is burnt bean sauce. Because the, the, the burnt or the smokiness or whatever will take over the sauce, the smell of your sauce. You can smell it all through. So let me show you all this. Now I'm going to add the rest of my... Oh, let me flip this around cause, so we can get a better view. Now I'll add the fish that I took out back to the pot. So when I'm scooping it, I can scoop some fish out. Want to try one? You didn't come and do what I told you what to do. What do you want me to do? Do you know? <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay. For real? I don't know then. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Be good. This is so good. Have we been on for an hour? This one, please. And you can try this one that messed up. That one did not stick together for some reason. Why? Just no, just try. It's not gonna hurt your diet. Mm -hmm. Assuming if she even has one. Hey! <laughs> So you're not going to eat any of this? Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm. Just yeah. the beans. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yo. Are mm -hmm. you? I might take one. Just... This one will turn out better. I can one. already tell. I'll take one. On the first one. There you go, my love. Beautiful lady. So divine. I forgot why I made you bring it here. So divine. Mm. Your presence is so divine. I want to video. Mm. Mm. You better be saying that when she gives you the food, also. It's all fake. I told you when the food is getting ready, they will come here. I'm the only one that can.
Abo boy and Kakro is almost ready. Are you in or are you out? You see? Don't start. Don't you start with that mess. You spatula. We're gonna taste test in a few once this is done. Who wants to taste test for us today? Adele, you're not doing well. Don't don't you're not Nadine, wear something. It's your turn. Rahim does it all the time. So this came out good. This is how it's supposed to flip perfectly. All doing this today. So maybe have to find some more. But that turned out perfectly. That's how it's supposed to be. So what should be being a breath? One come. He does it all the time. It's not fair. You better no. be going to no, baby, no, when you get your food, too. But that's what it's going to be. Try to eat your own on the life. I'm going to try using lesser oil and see if that helps with the process. And it's hot in here, guys. I'm roasting. Oh, I know why I took the phone. So I googled it. I want to show you what the tatali looks like. You see? This is what it looks like. On Google, if you Google it. It's exactly what it looks like. It's the pan I'm using, I think. It's the pan. Yep, it's the pan. It's the pan. It's all 
figure it out. That way it's gonna. She said, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This one looks perfect, though. I don't know about the others. This one came out perfect. This is how it's supposed to look. That's the one you take? No, that one not. looks perfect. It's mine. But the others are just acting up today. They're like, nope. No matter how non-stick a pan says it is, I'll use it and then next thing I know it's not it's sticking. So I'm just I've just had my fair share of getting non-stick pans. They're liars. Because they don't turn out to be what they say they are. You pay a huge amount of money on them and then the things do stick. <laughs> do you all experience that? Maybe we're not getting the maybe we need to pay Two hundred dollars for that one, and I refuse to pay that for a, a, a skillet. Okay, this one is coming together. It's all coming together. I don't know. Is it because it's on this side? Because the ones on that side turn out to look great. Maybe it's the heat. It's on one side. Who knows? Who knows? But we're getting somewhere. At least this is what we have. Okay. She's here. A beauty queen is here. I'm going to let you. We're going to taste test after this batch and then I'll continue frying while Nadine. to bend because the oil is super hot. And that one is a low burn. You can stick it together. When you buy it in Ghana, it looks just like this. They don't try to make it look pretty. This is good. Now, do you get plates and let me give you yours so you can try it. Time to eat. We got a few in here, so we're going to serve it. Oh, who got ice plate? I'm, I'm not picky. I'll take mine. It looks in better in there. And it's going to, palm oil is going to stay in that You forgot? You forgot, darling. 
Well, two do you. you forgot just how well, powerful two. you are. Well, two do you. Yeah, two. So he I has Nadine's it. plate. That's my plate. I'm going to give her some of this sauce. See how thick I that like bean sauce, sauce is. I like the sauce. And we're going to give her. Should I flip it? They can see? This. Oh, Nadine, you can't. It's giving me a hard time, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. I got it. Hello. Do you all see this? We're going to flip you all around. Nadine, close the cabinet. And she's going to taste this. This deliciousness. But before we do that, let me give you a close-up everything <laughs> oh this is what it looks like thank you miss this Debbie. is what it looks like this is what it looks like plantain fritas with good. bean sauce it looks good it looks decent it looks good guys Get your virtual it's bite. It's pipe and heart. Mm -hmm. Get your virtual bite. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Hmm. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, Nadia, I love your hair. Mm -hmm. I'm already so thank you. Don't have to. Oh, so I just read it. My hair. Why can't I read it? It's not good. To double read, ma'am. It's not good luck to double read. I'm going to flip this thing, and I'll come and close the camera for you. You can flip the camera and start eating. Okay. While I fry the rest, because you know the other crew are waiting. Still frying the rest. Mm -hmm. I don't finish it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bigger your fork? Yeah, I have a fork. Can people slice some onions on it back? I would. Lord want... Jesus, thank you for this beautiful food. Please bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me slice some onions for you, sweetie. Mm. You don't have gari or... I'm okay. They don't see it. Show them the plate. You starving. thinly slice the onions on it. I'm starving, guys. Some Gary would have really set it off. Excuse me, that one. Mm. Sorry, you. I want to come this way so I can. Here you go. Move this on. The bean sauce is extremely good. I just did, Mom. Oh. still mm. fry all of this till I'm done. Mm. I'm halfway through. Mm. This is what we have left to fry. About half the bowl. This is a smaller bowl, so. So yummy, Just guys. Give me an idea. Mm. The sweet. And not so sweet, it balances out and it gives for an interesting and delicious flavor. You can have this with rice, like I said. I was choose. going to make rice. You want to have rice again? Brown rice. I think you can. Make some brown No, I took okay, it. This is more than enough for me. 10 out of 10, everything's well seasoned. The plantain fritters are really sweet and really good. So, I love it. This is actually one of my favorites. Yeah, she actually asked for this. So, mommy, the plantains are going bad. Can you make something, some bean stew or bean sauce with um, with plantains? And because they are so soft, you can't really fry them like you fry your regular plantains. It's going to mess up. 
So this is the best way to make it. Or you make it into the plantain cakes. It looks delicious. Thank you, Miss Vivian. I'm almost done. I'm going to serve the family. I'm going to put some pigs so you all can um, enjoy the view too. Thank you all so much for joining me. Doris Woodin, Mario Frank, Val Marie, Santiago, Farah, Fala High Forever, H for Forever. You, you should tell them. She said the plantains taste like a dessert on its own. Yeah, you can have it like a dessert. You don't even have to pair it with the beans. It will be good with ice cream on it. Yeah, it will. That's a good idea. You make the plantain fritters and you top it with some ice cream. It's good. It's like pancakes. It's like banana pancakes. Plantains are basically from the same family as bananas. So think about eating banana pancakes with some bean sauce. That's pretty much the same. So I hope you all enjoyed this segment. You enjoy my live videos. If you do, leave comments below. Like it. Share it and follow the page i see we are up to 37k whoop, 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 whoop. you all did that you all did that not me you all did that thank you all so much for your constant support remember our giveaway is coming soon so keep sharing it too keep sharing keep sharing keep engaging keep being supportive and the giveaway will be soon i'm not gonna say when but it's gonna be very soon very soon. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Before I go, I say love, peace. Where am I? My, my, ooh, I got the balloons matching my top. Beautiful. Love, peace, happiness, and blessings. Happiness. Ooh, and look at the showers of blessings. Grab your blessings. Grab your blessings. I love you, beautiful people. I miss you all. And I will see you tomorrow for breakfast. Love you. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.